Today on Soul Show, we review Catch Me Outside. Go on and catch me outside, how about that? So Jordan Peele of the hilarious meme Catch Me Outside used that money to direct a movie of the similar name. This is his big debut as a solo director, and what kind of inspiration would drive him to create this movie that got a 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. I wanted to make a movie where people just scream at the theater, you know, get out the fucking house. <laughs> and people say it's hard to get 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. So I'm just gonna use the rest of this review to actually just talk about the movie fluently, if that's all right with you guys. Um, get Out, it was actually a really great movie. I, this, this rhyme reminds me a lot of Cabin in the Woods. Um, which is kind of this like meta comedy horror movie. And it's hilarious because one of the actors from Cabin in the Woods is in this movie. And god damn, he completely different person. He played the dad um, who got stabbed by the deer. And god damn it, this movie. We had um, this kind of... this Because this was all already pitched me as, you know, this black dude um, who enters this family... Uh, and they are they're all obviously racist and they try to end up killing him and I like I thought you know horror movies a lot of the time just play on these little fears and I I know like like the line where um, what's his name said oh, I just get nervous when I'm just around a bunch of white people and I'm just sticking out like a sore thumb I, I've heard that expression used by a lot of my friends and that type of shit so I'm sure it played on some real fears for some people out there. And then we had the movie, uh, as it was going along, it was great. Um, and we had the big reveal, which was that this wasn't actually about race. They're actually just kidnapping black people and taking their brains out of their heads and putting their friends' brains in there. And this was, like, such great writing where... A lot of the actors, or characters I should say, were speaking lines and we thought they were about race. Like when they were like, oh is it better with black guys? Like, And the reason that is amazing is because we see later on in the film, oh her husband would have entered his body so that's why she was like, is it better? And so I can completely like respect the writing of that. And not all writing has to be this profound, like, it, it can just be clever, it can be smart. And Key and Peele, you know, it's clever comedy there. Keanu, not so much, but uh, whatever. But going on with this movie, um, I loved each of the characters. I love, I didn't know if his girlfriend was in on it for a while, and then, like, we saw those pictures, and I was like, okay, either she's getting brainwashed and she forgets, or she's a part of it, and she was a part of it, which I loved. And her character, the, the, when we saw the pictures behind her, uh, that was a great scene. The reason she was great is because every little, every little scene um, with these characters like just added so much information. Like with her, she was obviously like being this uh, great high-spirited person. And now she's, you know, she gets some kind of enjoyment out of this. Like, that's why she's saving the pictures. That's why she was like, oh, you were one of my favorites. Like, to her, this is like some big expert game. And like, oh, I'm going to spend four months with a person. And then one of my parents or some, or a fam distant family member is going to enter their body. Which is weird. Like, imagine if you had sex with a girl and then your grandmother takes over her body. That is some crazy shit. And I loved how, once you realize later in the film, like, oh, he just doesn't know how to act. Like, the, the little mannerisms they had, it was, like, great for, oh, I'm a creepy racist dude. And then it turns out, oh, I'm an old dude in a young black man's body, and I don't know how to use correct mannerisms. And I was probably insane before the surgery, so I'm probably insane now. And... I thought for a little while, I was like, are these people even a family? Um, like, because we have no conclusion that, like, oh, this is actual family that's doing this. And then it turns out when she was like, 
grandma like oh fuck they are they're all actually like a big family and he's murdering all of them and god i since i watched this movie i i i walked out of theaters thinking you know eight out of ten great but i just have not been able to stop thinking about it and the high of the movie uh has just kept going on and on and i was also high when i watched it so i don't know uh if that helped for some reason it was it was a great movie uh for that purpose also cuz it's also you know a movie where people are going to yell in the theaters and going to be like oh my god oh my god like uh, get the fuck out of there go 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 and i love that type of shit and we had Percy's mom, uh, you know, from 40 Year Old Virgin. She's an underrated actress, I feel. And she was this great, creepy, like, mind controller, right? Uh, I'm forgetting. Why am I forgetting? Hypnosis. Um, and we get, like, understanding of how the hypnosis works and how his brain just, you know, falls deep within his mind. I, I love that. And uh, the guy who is taking over his body. Um, I love the fact that he was blind and not necessarily like this terrible person. Um, obviously, everyone in this scenario is probably evil enough because they're um, killing black people and taking their brains. And th he said it wasn't about race. But at some point, like, if you were a normal person, you'd be like, hey um let's get like one white person so this isn't weird maybe for them that's like an easy way to distinguish oh they've had the surgery i don't know i love the fact that they play bingo to decide who gets the body um and that's why they're all gathering like that um you know great stuff that like after the twist happens you think about it and it just you keep thinking about it and thinking about it um and you know because I, you look at like who's how many people have they done this with like every four or five months I'm sure they do this or and just faster if they can just find someone and just quickly bam but um in this scenario uh it took four or five months and you know he she was quickly trying to get his friend which was crazy as fuck but um it was crazy, like, just seeing, like, which, like, the grandmother and grandfather who are just like, oh, let me do some chores so it looks normal. Um, I thought that was great. And, it's, oh, they're just a family. And, like, the science of this isn't, like, this crazy far-off thing. It's just, oh, I'm going to take this guy's brain out, put this guy's in. And, like, if you can die and come back to life... Uh, for a short time period, then that's not, like, this crazy, unbelievable thing either. And um, it's presented in this really believable light. And I love, like, oh, like, uh, they're deep down in there somewhere. And now he was like, get out! Get out! And it's like, if he would have said, oh, they're going to control your brain or whatever, then they probably would have just killed him on spot. And there was like 20, 30 of them. So that maybe it's good he didn't say that. Instead, he was just like, get out, get out. Um, the ending, we went on a rampage. We started some houses on fire. Uh, I love the fact that, you know, he got this big upper hand. Um, this movie is intense. As fuck. This is one of the most intense movies I've seen um, since 10 Cloverfield Lane, which I gave the uh, a 9 as well. Spoiler, that's what I'm going to give it. Um, not since that movie have I was like this on edge at a fucking theater. Like, literally gripping my seat and like afraid for the character. Because... Um, they could have got away with this. Like, the main character could have died. I easily could have saw that happening. But we get this ending. He's just going around killing everybody. Uh, and then there's that big twist where the guy, you know, phone click, guy woke up, shot the girl, shot himself. Uh, and, you know, I was like, couldn't that guy have lived? And I was like, wait, um, the guy's still in his brain. He's just a lost cause. So then he was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, that's good enough for me. 
Um, the girl just kind of was left there to die. Great ending. And then his friend just picks him up, and he's just like, I told you not to go in there. Uh, it was such a feel-good, like, ending. Like, he's just bleeding, and he got away. He got out. Um, it, what a movie, man. Like, movies like this, like, I'm, like, I'm glad it got marketed me to death, and I saw it, and people talked about it, and it's actually getting talked about. Um, movies like this don't happen every day, and I'm glad it took, like, a guy like Jordan Peele to make this movie. And I'm glad that he threw his fucking name all over this, because that's a gamble in itself, especially with horror movies. Like, if this would have gone off to a bad editor, it wouldn't have been as good of a movie. Um, and then your name's plastered all over it, then you're just like, fuck, but now that's, like, getting 100% on Rotten Tomatoes and shit, he's like, hell yeah, I'm glad. So, um, yeah, that that's... And this, this, this is, these are one of those movies, like, I gotta talk about it, like, in-depth, spoilers and all, I'm sorry, but, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, um, uh, please, uh, if you wanna leave a comment, I could talk about this movie all day, uh, please, just let me know, anyway, thank you guys so much as always, and with that, I leave you.